guys, Sam here, and welcome back to another episode of our brand new Napoli career mode series. How long am I going to call it the brand new career mode? We're three episodes in. It's kind of still brand new, but not really. But welcome back to the third episode of our Napoli career mode series. Last episode, we made two signings in the summer transfer window, and we came up against Sashwolo. And I didn't want to play this game. I wanted to save it for today, which we will be playing today. And I asked you guys if we thought we needed any more players. And there were some suggestions. A lot of people telling me I needed central midfielders, which I didn't understand because we have a lot of central midfielders. Uh, and there was, you know, people telling me to get all sorts of positions, fullbacks, which I've said I don't want to change my fullbacks. But there was one comment, one suggestion. I thought, you know what? I've never used this guy. Let's try and go in for him. And that guy is Milot Rashica from Vitesse. I've never used this guy before. Um, I, to be honest, I'd barely even heard of him before until you guys were suggesting it in the first episode. And I thought, you know what? He's a right winger. We have Mertens as a backup cam slash left winger he probably won't be on the bench straight off the bat probably will get, be getting opportunities in games so i thought you know what let's just go ahead and scout him see how much he's worth we still have some money to spare and we'll probably sign him towards deadline day but before we do that we do have to play this game against sashuolo our opening game of the serie our opening game as manager against a very tough team and it's away as well so our first road trip is our first game of the season. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure you smash a like on the video. I didn't really do this at the, at the, on the other two episodes, which I probably should have done. Um, but yeah, I'm not really asking for likes on this series. I don't really care, to be honest, for this series. It's just sort of, I'm just doing it because I wanted to have fun in the Serie A. So if you want to leave a like, go ahead and do so. There's no goal or anything like that. Um, but let's take a look at the lineup that'll be facing Sassuolo. Right, no changes needed in my opinion. We have Iguain up top with Insigne and Callejon on the right. Hemshik, Allen, and Jorginho make a midfield three with Gulam, Koulibaly, Raul Albiol, and Yusai uh, in the back four with Pepe Reina in between the sticks. It's a very solid looking lineup. It looks really, really good. It'll give us a chance to test this lineup out and see if maybe a different player should be starting ahead of someone else. Uh, and it's a good chance for everybody to really show that they're a good footballer pretty much in our first game of the season. So hopefully it's a solid performance. Let's get the fluidity going. Let's get the chemistry up. Uh, let's score some goals, man. Let's kick off our campaign with a bang. But without further ado, it's Sassuolo and Napoli in our first game as manager. Wayne plays through Insigne. He's got a lot of pace. Paolo Cannavaro doesn't have any pace. Insigne should get past him with ease. Higuain is making the run in the middle. But that is a poor cross from Insigne. you got to get a bit more central, mate. Yusai chasing Sansona here. The left wing for Sassuolo. He's pretty talented, but Yusai just blocks him out. Albiolo and Yusai do well to clear that out. Gonzalo Higuain plays through Jose Callejon. Great work here. Callejon with a lot of space. What's he going to do? Oh, what a tackle from Paluzzo. Just got the ball. I thought we'd get a penalty there. Pam Sheik lofts that one over to Higuain, who's made a fantastic run. And what a goal to open up our account in the Serie A. Pam Sheik to Gonzalo Higuain, who made a perfect run. What a ball that is. Iguain laid that off to Allen, to Hamshik, who just lofts that over. That is a fantastic ball from the skipper. And Higuain puts it in. He's going to score 100% of the time. Clinical as you like from Gonzalo. 1-0 to Napoli. What a way to open up our accounts here in the Serie A. Allen. He's going to whip that one over to Insigne, who touches it inside. Good touch from Insigne. He plays the ball to Higuain. That's a good ball. Hopefully he's onside. He is. And what a second goal. Gonzalo Higuain with a quick rate double there. Just bang, bang. Double battle shotgun one after the other. Oh my goodness. What a ball here from, I believe it was Allen to Insigne. He looked offside in real time. I'd like to look that, at that again, but real time he looks offside. But he's t obviously he's timed the perfect the, to perfection, and that finish is perfect. Higuain, two goals in his first game, and we are starting to hit that chemistry, starting to understand each other's gameplay here, lads. And this is fantastic. Two goals. What a goal Higuain scores for both these goals within six minutes. It's Domenico Baradi. What can Baradi do? Probably the most talented player. Lays it off to Ki Song Yong and Koulibaly just puts his body on the line. Oh. Oh, it just falls to Koulibaly. What can he do? Koulibaly, the center back! Oh my god, he's rifled it into the top of the net. Koulibaly just hanging there from a corner. He was just hanging out in the box. He thought he'd stay. It just falls to him here. 
somehow, and he just fends off everybody and just smashes that. That is perfect placement for our centre back, Cooley Barley, with a goal. Maybe you'd expect him to be scoring headers, but to just rifle that in the top of the net, holy shit. 3-0 here, what an opening day this has been for Napoli, and it's Cooley Barley who wraps it all up with a goal. And there it is, full-time, 3-0 here, away at Sassuolo. Definitely not what I was expecting from the team. I thought we'd have a rough start. To be fair, the opening 45 minutes was difficult. I was getting used to the team, and we were messing up passes, but we got two fantastic goals with Higuain. Really, really well-played goals, good team goals, um, which is good to see. I like those goals where it's a few passes leading up to a, a nice pass that gets the striker through. I think that's a very classic goal right there. And that was a really, really good performance from everybody, really. That second half, we absolutely blitzed them. 3-0. What a way to kick off our campaign. You can see seven shots, four on target for us with 49% possession to Sassuolo's one shot, one on target, 51% possession. So we played much better than them. I felt like a lot of those chances came in the second half. We really didn't play well in the first half at all. Uh, and I think Sassuolo were actually the better team. Dangerous counter-attacks, not really leading to shots, but they had some dangerous counter-attacks uh, with Sanson and Berardi as their two wingers. They had a lot of chances that they could have put away, but they didn't. Um, so, one shot, one on target for them. So, they statistic-wise, it looks like they didn't do much, but they did. They were a pretty good team throughout the entire 90 minutes, but that first 45 especially, we struggled. Second half, fantastic. Two fantastic goals from Higuain. Cooley Barley, mate. What are you doing in the penalty box, man? The corner was like five minutes ago. He's like, you know what? We're 2-0 up. I'll just hang out in the box. Ball falls to him, lashes at it, and it's a fantastic finish to make it 3-0. What a way to kick off our campaign. I'm so happy with that performance and, of course, the result. Right, after all that, it looks like Rashica has just joined Vitesse, so we can't even sign him. I'd like to get him on loan, maybe. I wouldn't mind getting him on loan if they're willing to loan him out, but I don't think they will because I think he's their best talent or something along those lines. So, that's unfortunate. I didn't know he just moved. None of you guys told me he just moved, but I was actually pretty excited to use him. Right, in the meantime, we do have this home game against Sampdoria our home opener, which I do definitely want to play. And it's the last game of the transfer window as well. As you can see, August 30th, we're right near deadline day now. Um, so I think we've done well. They picked up a win in their first game, as did we. And it looks like Alvarez scored two goals for them, as Higuain did for us. So it looks like it's going to be a showdown here. And hopefully we can continue our fantastic start. No goals conceded in that first game. If we can get a bit of a defensive run going, that's always a good thing. Uh, but the main thing is the three points here. We do not want to slip up in our first few games. We want to get the points on the board. We want to show our intent to the rest of the league. So... Without further ado, let's take a look at the starting 11. Okay, I feel like we don't really need to change anything from the starting 11 last game. Iguain up top with Insigne Callejon on the wings. Hamshik, Allen, and Jorginho were a very good midfield three. Very dynamic, switching places a lot. So you had Jorginho playing defensive mid, Allen pushing up a bit, Hamshik dropping back. You know, everybody pushing up. It was really, really dynamic, which I really liked. Gulam, Koulibaly, Albiol, and Yusai as our back four with Pepe Reina in between the sticks. Come on, lads. Let's get another three points. Let's have another good performance. Napoli, Sampdoria at the home opener. And hopefully I can give our home crowd something to cheer about. To Higuain. He lays it off to Hamshik. Hamshik to Kalehon. Kalehon. He's going to whip that ball in. Higuain is in there. He's going to lay that off to Alan who smashes it. And Viviano with a save. Oh, Higuain strips it nicely. What's Higuain going to do? He had the run of Insigne, but he's gone himself. He's going to try and finish that Viviano with another good save. What can Marek do here? He's going to lay it off to Jose Calejon. Moisander gets his body on the line. Good start here. Very attacking start. He's got a dodo ahead of him. An extinct bird is trying to stop Calejon from doing things, but he's not going to worry about that. He's going to whip that one in. A little less power, and Higuain would have been on it. Oh, he just cuts in, just makes it look easy as well. Lays it off to Higuain. Higuain's going to go for the long ball back to Insigne. Insigne's going to whip that one in. Poor cross, Insigne. You've got to work on your crossing, mate. Plays that through to Gonzalo. Higuain. Higuain's taking his time. Puts it on his right. Goes for it. And he hits the bar. My goodness. Out of nowhere. Callahan puts it back in for the second chance. Allen is in there. It falls to Higuain. Who smashes it into the roof of the net. And there it is. The opening goal at home here. The first home goal of the season, and it's Iguain with his third goal of the season. 
in his second game. What a start from Gonzalo. Right place, right time. That's what you want from your striker to be at the right place at the right time. The first shot was insane. And the second chance by Callejon pays off. Allen sort of with the distraction there. And it's Iguain who just smashes it at the back of the net. Fantastic stuff from Higuain. That first chance, it just didn't look like anything was going to happen. And then it was quick. It was like he put it on his right and, and went for the shot. Really fantastic stuff from Gonzalo. And it's three goals in two games for him. And it's 1-0 here at home. So now, let's not fuck it up. Allen to Usai, to Callejon, to Higuain. Higuain back to Jose Callejon. Callejon has Hamshik just chilling there. Who goes for it? And it hits the bo- Oh, it hits the post. What was I talking about? The boast? Oh, Callejon just strips it off him. What's Jose going to do? On his right, he went for it. What an outrageous angle to go for it. Here's Mbakogu. First touches for Napoli here. Substituted on for Higuain. What can he do with the ball at his feet? He's got the pace. He's got the strength. And he seems to have the techers. And he just blitzed through the defense. But the shot wasn't on point. And Viviano made a very crucial save there to keep Sampdoria in the game. Good stuff for Mbakogu. That was his first run. Callejon plays that through to Gabbiadini, fresh off the bench. Gabbiadini, he's going to try and whip that into Mbukogu, who's off the bench as well. The header's off the post, but he's there for the second chance. And Mbukogu gets a goal on his debut off the bench. Not the best finish, obviously. Well, it was a good finish, that second chance, but it was an open goal. So not the most ideal fantasy goal he would want to score. He'd want to score an outrageous scream or something along the lines of that, but... It's okay. It's a it's a goal, you know what I mean? And it's good. He's got in a good position. The head is not bad, to be fair. And the second chance was well-deserved as well. He's had a few decent chances this game. And I think he does deserve a goal. And maybe quite a few doubters who thought he wasn't good enough for Napoli. He scored a goal. And uh, he's proven that he can do it here at Napoli. Hopefully he can keep it up. There it is. Full-time 2-0 to Napoli here against Sampdoria. Uh, as the crowd celebrates with the fans. Fantastic stuff. Another clean sheet, another couple of goals scored. Iguain got on the scoring sheet again. 12 shots, 9 on target this time. Even better attacking performance to Sampdoria's one shot, one on target. To be fair, similar to our previous game, Sampdoria had a lot of going forward chances, but they just didn't shoot. Like, they had a few chances where if they just kept running, they probably were through on goal, but they hesitated, they cut back, or, or they did something silly. Uh, but they had a lot of good chances. I honestly thought when we were at 1-0 that they would bring it back. They had a few decent chances, um, but it didn't happen. 2-0. Our defense has been very solid. Right, Vitesse did not want to let Rashica go out on loan, so we might have to look at him next season. I do definitely want to use him, but it's just not going to happen this season. Taking a look at some of the top deals here at the end of deadline day. Pogba going to PSG from Juventus, which helps us a lot because Juventus are going to be a lot less competitive in their games without Paul Pogba. Uh, for 52.5 million there. Aguero moving to Bayern Munich for 51. And Pastore going to Arsenal for 32 million. So nothing too out of the ordinary there. Most of those transfers happen anyway. But that's deadline day for you guys. Right, we have some training here. And I will be training some players during this series. I didn't really do it at Arsenal or PSG really. But I do, I want to train a few players. Especially Insigne on crosses, mate. He's got to improve those crosses. They were abysmal in those opening two games. We've got a few different players on there. Usai also doing crossing as a fullback. Uh, might get him on dribbling as well. We got uh, Tonelli on defending. We got Allen on defending. And then Jorginho on long passes. So we'll be training a few players. I'll show it here and there, but I won't show every session. Um, but just so you guys know, I am training the players. Additionally, I've set up a youth scout in Italy with five-star experience and judgment. So hopefully you can get us a few decent players. Um, maybe for next season or if we do a third season, maybe the season after that, you never know But it's good to keep that fountain of youth coming in I guess you could call it uh, a good stream of young talent So we've got a scouting network set up as well. That's it for today's episode guys We end today at the top of the table only ourselves and Juventus were able to pick up two wins from two games And we are the only team to not concede a goal yet one better goal difference than Juventus Who you gotta it's you know, obviously they're gonna be the biggest t uh, challenge here in the Serie A. It's good that we're getting these points on early, man. The earlier we can just get some points on the board, um, the better, because eventually we will be dropping points because this is a tough league. Even though maybe these first two games haven't shown it, this is a very tough league. So you got AC Milan just chilling there with no wins. So that's pretty disappointing. Hopefully they can pick it up. 
Um, but a few surprise packages, maybe Palermo and Empoli, who have won games. That's pretty surprising in my opinion. But it's going to be a really, really cool league to see how it turns out. It'll be three Champions League spots, and you would assume that Juventus and Napoli will take two of them. So who's going to be the third man? I don't want to be presu I don't want to be presumptuous, but I think we can make Champions League this season. Winning the title, that's a different thing, but I think we can definitely make Champions League. So who do you think will be the third guy on the Champions League spots? Which team will make it? Additionally, I would like you guys to take to the comments section below and let me know if you'd like to see every Serie A game in the videos or if you don't mind me simming games. I really don't mind. I would play every single game. I find the Serie A a very fun league to play. So if you guys want me to play every single game, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Or do you think that I should sim some games to get through the season quicker so we can move on to the next season and yada, yada, yada. Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, I do value your guys' suggestions all the time. Um, and I appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to take to the comment section below. But that's it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash a like on the video. I hope you had a good day. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.